The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Howdy folks, it's Kato again with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz. Yeah, I know I've already done the Studio Series 86 recap, but in doing that, I realized I forgot to review Jazz, one of the coolest ones in the whole line. Before I do that, though, uh, while I have your attention, I want to say a huge thank you to a friend of the channel and friend of mine, Delmas Dugan. He reached out to me uh, some time ago and found a few things that I was looking for, and he was kind enough to gift them to me. So I want to say a thank you to Delmas Dugan for reaching out and getting me the three Retro Joes from Wave 3, I think it is, well, Cobra Commander Duke and Lady J. Thank you, Delmas Dugan. I appreciate it very, very much. Now, with that out of the way, let's roll the intro and start looking at Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz. It's Kato! Now, I have absolutely no idea what I did with his box, but I assure you the box art was pretty and he came with a backdrop that you could stand him on. I don't use it, so I'm not really upset about it. I'm just sorry that I can't show it to you guys. But he does come with his classic gun, just five millimeter port, gray paint, and some additional ports on the side there. Nothing too spectacular, but it is exactly what we would expect. Now, as we move on to looking at the figure itself, it looks great in the package. It screams jazz. There's no confusion over who this character is. The head sculpt is absolutely beautiful with that blue visor and the gray paint there on his face and his iconic head sculpt there. That looks good. Speaking of head sculpt, it will rotate 360. Look down only a bit. Look up a bit more. If I can get this to focus, there we go. So it's, it's okay, right? And that's about what you want out of it. Arms rotate 360, uh, bicep swivel, they'll go up about that far and bend at the elbow at 90 degrees. Uh, no wrist rotation because of that uh, waffling there on the inside, which is probably one of the downfalls of it. Nice blue paint there for the headlights, blue and red there for the Autobot logo. I mentioned the blue visor. I like that very much. Waist rotation, plenty. It'll rotate 360 on this uh, swivel right here on this, I guess it's a mushroom peg or of some sort. You've got the nice blue paint there on the crotch. Nothing going down, but some molded detail going down the legs and gray inside the front of the leg here with the gray feet. The legs will go out, up, back, and the knee bend is one thing we're talking about. Because of transformation, there's a little peg right here that goes into a slot there. It does peg in pretty well, but it wants to come loose quite often. So, but you do have a nice knee bend there and an ankle tilt all the way and toe tilt for transformation. The backpack, it's pretty good. I know a lot of folks wish that it was like the toy version where the wings would come out there, but this is accurate to the cartoon and it works for me. Blue and red stripe there on the back port for the gun. It all folds up really nicely in there and some dead space in there in the back where the legs fold in for transformation. Overall, really, really nice looking jazz. For a quick comparison, there he is beside Earthrise Optimus Prime. Since I don't have the power of the Prime Jazz, here he is beside Generation Select's Ricochet. New Age Jazz. What was he? Uh, Monero? I think it was Monero. And the Toys R Us reissue from however many years ago that was. Now to get this guy transformed, it's pretty simple. Fold in the arms. Fold down the toes. Rotate the wheels up and you can go ahead and tab these together and they'll just sit tight for now raise the rear up open this up open it up about right there because you need the clearance to accordion this out 
I've had people say that this has started to break on them because it is entirely made of clear plastic right here. Uh, the only thing I've had so far is this rear piece popping off this back hinge, but it pops back on. Once you've got that up and level, go ahead and fold those out. Lift up at the chest like that. Little piece in here, fold that up, flip the head under. While you're here, this piece, just the silver piece needs to go to the back. I find it easier just to rotate the entire waist, hold that and then rotate it back. And that puts that back piece back there a lot easier than having to shuffle it around. Fold the head under, fold this piece out to complete the hood. Now rotate the wheels in. And when you do that, there's a peg right here that you need to make sure stays along the outside. So it'll be here, just rotate that to the outside. Same thing on this side, rotate around, rotate the arm so that peg is on the outside, like that. Now you're gonna unpeg the knees and fold that all up in on itself, inside there, just like that. Bring down the cab or the windows, plug all that in. It might take some doing and plug the doors into the arms like so. I hate saying like so. I gotta come up with a, another thing to say. Like that, I'll just say like that. With everything pegged in, clean it up a little bit and we will take a look at alt mode. He is an absolutely beautiful alt mode. This is, without a doubt, the Jazz Porsche that we all remember. Make sure I can stay focused here. It looks amazing. The wheels look good, although that black part right there looks kind of stupid. I don't like that very much. I wish they were both solid wheels like that because those look great. Obviously, the glaring difference is going to be the number 14, blah, blah, blah. Toy Hacks fixes that. I know I hate having to buy things to fix a toy but there it is. You can get a toy hack set, make that a number four and everybody's happy. But other than that, it is a super clean, super good looking Porsche mode that we have been waiting for. And of course you've got your port there if you wanna put the gun, I don't. I, I really wish I could just plug that in. I don't know if the toy hack set covers that up, but I hope it does. But. I don't like the lighter blue translucent windows. I wish they were darker. I know Toy Hacks also fixes that. Uh, not sponsored by Toy Hacks, by the way. Uh, that way you can you don't see all the robot bits inside. But he rolls well. Looks good. Red stripe, blue headlights. I dig the vehicle mode very, very much. Much more than what they gave us with Power of the Prime. Looks good as Ricochet, but it was a horrible looking Jazz in my opinion. There he is beside Siege Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. They scale just fine. New Age Monero. And finally beside the Toys R Us reissue from whatever year, who cares. Overall, this is a fantastic Jazz. It is not perfect. I don't like the 14, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot. The weak peg in the knees is annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. The gun's fine paint apps everything looks really good this is the jazz that we've wanted for a while he may be a little short for me but again not a deal breaker absolutely fantastic looking alt mode and i don't think i need to recommend this right it, it, you're already probably going to get it guys thanks so much for checking this out thanks again to delmas dugan for those awesome gi joes i appreciate that very much if you are interested in helping the channel grow the easiest way to do that is like the video and if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Another way is to click that join button to see what membership options I have available. I will scroll up along the side. A quick thank you to channel members that have already decided to do that. I am eternally grateful for you guys. It makes it so much easier to keep this channel running. And I appreciate all of you. Be sure to subscribe to the other Rejecticons at Sardu News by 82, Inutabi, and Larkin's Lair. And until next time, folks. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato, signing out. It's Kato!